Let's take a look at another example of dividing a polynomial by a binomial using the box method. As you can see, I already started setting up my box. It has two rows because my divisor has two terms. I don't know how many terms my quotient will have, so to start, I typically start with two columns and then I create more of them if I need to. I would like to remind you how the basic principle of this uh, process works. If, for example, I needed to divide 20 by 4 and I wanted to find what this quotient is, I could approach this in a different way. I could say 4 times what could give me product of 20. That's exactly what we are going to do with the polynomials. Except with polynomials, there are so many more steps than with this just constant problem. So let's take a look. Remember, the goal is to fit your dividend of 4x to the third plus 3x plus 5 inside of your box, one step at a time, and in the process, you are going to reconstruct this unknown other polynomial that would multiply with 2x minus 5 and produce your dividend of 4x to the third plus 3x plus 5. So let's get started. First, always uh, place the highest degree term into the first cell. So I'm going to place 4x to the third in the first cell. Now I can ask a question. 2x times how much will give me 4x to the third? Well, I need a factor of 2 and another uh, two factors of x. So 2x squared is what I need. Make sure to check. 2x times 2x squared is 4x to the third. Now I can fill in the second cell by multiplying 2x squared with negative 5 and getting negative 10x squared. To continue, I need to check. Did I fit in 4x to the third into my box? Yes, I did. Did I fit in? Uh, well, let's take a look. I have another term, negative 10x squared, in my box but I don't have any x squareds in my expression that I'm trying to fit inside, which really tells me the following. I need to throw in something else into this box so that the total of um, x squareds will be zero. So what do I need? I need the opposite of negative 10. So positive 10 x squared added together with negative 10 x squared will give me no x squared, zero of them, which is exactly what my dividend wants. All right, it's time to continue reconstructing my future quotient. 2x times how much is 10x squared? I need positive 5x. Now multiply 5x with negative 5 to get negative 25x. And I better do this with the same color to be consistent. So negative 25x. Now let's take a look. How many x terms do I need inside of my box? My dividend says I need 3x. I currently, though, have negative 25x, so it's time to throw in inside, into this box, enough to have a combination of um, 3x. I need, um, how much do I need? 28x. Notice 28x added together with negative 25x will produce 3x that my dividend wants. Let's continue with my quotient. 2x times how much will give me 28x? I need positive 14. So plus 14 shows up here. And I now am going to multiply 14 with negative 5 to get negative 70. I have my third column completed. Let's keep looking at this. A constant that I would like to have in my box is positive 5, according to the dividend. But I currently have negative 70. How much do I need to put there so that the total would be plus 5? Well, I need positive 75 to do that. Positive 75 combined together with negative 70 will give me a total of 5. It seems that I am done dividing and I already see my quotient and I also see my remainder. So a couple of things to note. If you have a column that is not filled out completely, it means that whatever is in there is your remainder. So in this case, here 75 is your remainder. We're going to take care of it later. Let's, though, go back and check to make sure that everything we had to fit inside of this box actually is there. So, is 4x to the third there? Yes, it is. Here it is. Is positive 3x there? 
yes, if I combine negative 25x and positive 28x, that gives me positive 3x. So I can circle this and say I'm done with that one. Is positive 5 there? Yes, because if I combine the negative 70 and a positive 75, that's a total of plus 5. However, I see something else in there. It's negative 10x squared plus 10x squared. Well, that's okay, because when they add up, they add up to 0, and there are 0x squared in there. I don't have any more x squared. It, there are 0 of them, so this is a perfect fit. In other words, my entire dividend, including positive 5, is already inside of my box, and there is a remainder of 75 upon this process, so my result looks like this. 2x squared plus 5x plus 14 plus 75, the remainder, over 2x minus 5. If you look back at another video where I recorded dividing these two polynomials using the long division process, you will see that the resulting expression was identical to the one we got here.